Good afternoon. Long time no see. Right, it's November and we're going to do a an overnighter in the woods. It's about half past one, something like that. And it's already quite cold, so priorities are to get are to get set up and uh, get a fire started. So um, let's uh, let's get that sorted first. See you in a bit. If I see a bit of dead fall on the way in, I always like to pick it up and bring it with me. Right, I'm not going to do another setup montage because there's plenty of them on YouTube already. So in November, what we're going with, we've just got an army basher um, wrapped round, using it for the under sheet as well, ground sheet, whatever you want to call it. The uh, Bantin bomb bag, Gore-Tex bivy bag and uh, faux roll mat. Um, and then just, um, I'll just rope that off at the back, just to give me a bit of bell in the back there. It's, uh, it's not rocket science, but it should keep you relatively warm and dry. I've just um, bought a new stove, well, a stove from China. It's one of them fold together puzzle ones but it's the biggest one they did because I wanted something a bit bigger because I've had a couple of problems when it's got really cold trying to keep the smaller ones going so I thought if I get something that's a bit more intense it might be more inclined to burn some bigger wood so we'll give that a try today. I have tried it at home but I haven't tried it out in the wilds yet. So let's get this set up and lit. Sounds like that helicopter's coming back again. I know there's an easier way of doing this. I'm sure I'll get it in the end. And I'm sure people will post comments in the bottom about the best way to do it. Ha! I know it's a cliche, but now I'm too hot without the fire. Well, already the light's going, so I don't know how this is coming out. I've got the fire lit, but the water, I mean, the wood is a bit wet or damp. So we'll have to see how we go. Um, stove's working all right. I've got my coffee. I'm going to try and make some cheese on toast. I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, After all that messing about, it's actually easier just to lay it across the edge of the stove. So I'll know next time.
Right, the light's about to go and uh, probably won't have to film much now unless I use the torch a bit later on. So I'll, uh, I'll probably see you in the morning. Lot of time kind of with just, just your baby. A little bit you. annoyed. Anyway, it's that of going the only thing I can get on my radio is woman's hour. Well, it's proper dark now. The, uh, the stove's working out really well. Um, it seems to keep like a core, a hotter core, so that you can. It's easier to keep going because, like, when you've got an open fire, it tends to spread out. And if you, unless you have it a reasonable size, especially when the temperature drops, it like dissipates and just goes out sometimes. So, yeah, I'm chuffed with that. Um, been quite noisy, quite a lot of birds, owls, bats. No werewolves though. See you in a bit. Okay, just checking in. Uh, I've just done an hour long Joni Mitchell documentary on Radio 4. So if I can do that, I can do anything. Good night, see you tomorrow. So I made it through the night. Uh, it wasn't that dark last night because the moon was out, so it wasn't pitch black. You could still see. So we just had the dawn chorus. I'll try and keep this short and sweet because the Battery on the phone's about shot it. I just sort of put a, a short video up just to show William because I haven't done anything for a while. And the main reason for that is anywhere I've been, I've already done a video of, so I didn't want to do any, any repeats really. Um, but hopefully, I'm going to get back into it. I need to do a, an update on me uh, van stove really, on how that's going. So hopefully that will be coming soon. But for now, I'm going to sign off and uh, have a coffee and get packed up. So I'll see you next time.